Hello corn enthusiasts out there, it is IDAXCollex and today I want to show you guys all of the corn row hunting finds through this quarter alone between May 1st, 2023 to July 31st, 2023. I did one for the first quarter for February 1st through April 30th, I guess, as I started recording on April 30th. That video, I called it the introduction to my channel. So if you want to check out my first quarter finds, along with a few other finds that were not from cornrow hunting, go ahead and check out that video if you like. But now that this quarter is over, it's time I share you guys all of my finds through cornrow hunting as of this quarter. So here they are, guys. A very nice haul of coins here in front of me from past hunts. So let me go ahead and go over these finds real quick for you. So first up here, I have this Lincoln Penny here from the year 1918, minted in Philadelphia. Found this through corner hunting on June 3rd, 2023. And as you can see, it is worn beyond belief. You can still see the one cent in the United States of America, but this coin has been through a lot. And I found another one of these as well. It's funny because I, it was when I purchased two boxes at the time and I actually found two 1918 Philadelphia Lincoln pennies from box one and box two. This penny here I found from the second box. The one that's in the book right now was from the first box. Next up, we have a Lincoln penny here from the year 1927, minted in Philadelphia. Found this through cornrow hunting, of course, on July 4th, 2023. These next two coins here are perhaps my favorite finds of the penny line here. I'll bring them both out together here. Both of these are Canadian pennies, one with King George V and another with King George VI. So I found the King George V Canadian penny from the year 1933 through corner hunting on May 31st, 2023, and a King George VI Canadian penny from the year 1951 found through corner hunting on July 19th, 2023. And the reverses are actually different. I'll show you guys the reverse for both of these. There you go, guys. Pretty much the Canadians are accustomed to this design here, all the way from when King George VI was in the coin till 2012 when they stopped minting pennies and then this one here is the old design of the one cent here. It's from the year 1933, and I always love that reverse for some reason. Pretty cool finds here. Next up here, I have this Buffalo Nickel from the year 1934, minted in Denver. Found it through Cornwall Hunting on July 5th, 2023. My only Buffalo Nickel find of the quarter right here, as opposed to the many that I found in the first quarter. These buffaloes were not around this time, this quarter, which is okay. Still my favorite design of the nickel here. And I'm happy to have it in my collection. Next coin is gonna be a war nickel from the year 1944, minted in Denver. Found this through Cornwall hunting as well on May 11th, 2023. And then here's another war nickel from the year 1945, minted in Denver. I found this through corner hunting as well on July 24th, 2023. I'll bring these both out and I'll show you guys these nickels up close. Found these two and I needed them for the books. So I'm just gonna show you guys these real quick. There we go. Both of them minted in Denver. And my most recent corner of the bunch here is gonna be this Jefferson nickel proof here from the year 1971 minted in San Francisco, found through corner hunting on July 26, 2023. Found my first ever proof nickel through corner hunting, and it's got some fingerprint marks on it, but still a really nice piece right here. And now, all my dimes. I have a lot of them. Let me tell you what, there was this one box on June 13th, 2023, it was at the time when I actually purchased two dime boxes and I made a video 
opening up two of them in one video because I didn't think I was going to find anything crazy. But little did I know that the first box that I opened up is one of the best coin boxes that I've ever hunted, period. Let me go over those dimes real quick for you. I found a total of three Mercury dimes, all of them through corner hunting on June 13th, 2023. This one is a 1924 minted in Denver, a 1941 minted in Denver, and a 1942 minted in Philadelphia. Let me show you guys all of these real quick. You can see the dates on them. 24, 41, and 42. And then when I flip them over, here they are. You can see the Denver mint mark right next to the E on one right there. Also the one next to it has a D mint mark as well. And then this one down here just has nothing, which means it's from Philadelphia. So very nice pieces right in front of me here. I'm happy to own this piece of history. Next up is gonna be this Roosevelt dime from the year 1948, minted in San Francisco. Found this through corner hunting on June 13th, 2023. You can see that S mint mark right there. Very nice piece. The rest of these are gonna be from 1964. So let's go ahead and go over them real quick. This Silver Roosevelt dime was from the year 1964, minted in Philadelphia. Another Roosevelt dime from the year 1964, minted in Philadelphia. A Roosevelt dime from the year 1964, minted in Denver. And another Roosevelt dime from the year 1964, minted in Denver. So from here to here, I found all of these silver dimes in the first box. While this one here, I found in the second box from the same day. So pretty unbelievable. I did actually find a proof dime as well. It was from the year 1977, minted in San Francisco. This was also from the first box. Check that out. Now that's a very nice piece right there. The dimes are done. Now it's time to go on to the quarters here. This one here is gonna be a Washington quarter from the year 1964, minted in Denver. Found this with corner hunting on May 23rd, 2023. My only silver quarter that I've ever found through corner hunting right here. And it's the most common one to find as well, but I'll gladly take it. Ah, just wanted to hear that. Next up is gonna be this proof Washington quarter from the year 1990, minted in San Francisco. Found this through corner hunting on May 3rd, 2023. All right, next up is an interesting one. It's not a proof, not a silver either, but it's actually gonna be this Washington Quarter from the year 2012, minted in San Francisco. Found this through corner hunting on June 8th, 2023. And it's weird because it's actually an uncirculated variant of the coin. They actually minted these San Francisco coins as well. It started with this year here, 2012, when they decided to do this. The quarters are done. Now it's time to go on to the halves. So this one here is gonna be a Kennedy half dollar from the year 1967, found through corner hunting on May 18th, 2023. Check this out, guys. My only silver half dollar that I've ever found through cornrow hunting, it's composed of 40% silver. Between the years 1965 to 1970, they minted these in 40% silver. The 1964 Kennedy half dollars were minted in 90% silver. And then they had the Benjis before that, and then the Walking Liberty before that. I wanna find those sometime, but I'm not going crazy for the halves just yet. In the future, I might, but I'm glad to have one right in front of me. And then finally, this is gonna be a proof half dollar from the year 1971, minted in San Francisco. Found this through corner hunting on May 18th, 2023. The mirror finish is kind of deteriorating on this coin here, but still a very nice piece right here. All right, I actually forgot to include this steel penny along with my other finds of the second quarter. So this will be like a bonus feature 
at the end of the video. So if you watched from the entirety of that video, you'll see that I left the steel penny behind. And I want to show this to you guys because it was actually one of the coolest finds that I have ever encountered in coin roll hunting. This steel penny from the year 1943, mitted in Philadelphia. Take a look at this. Still shocked to this day that I even encountered one of these through a coin roll. So that's my bonus coin of the quarter here. Just wanted to show you this. Now let's go ahead and get back into the video and conclude the video as well. Yep, as you can see here, these are all my finds from this quarter alone. And they are all up on YouTube. If you want to watch my previous videos on when I found these specific coins, you can take a look back and watch them yourself. Watch them as you will. Get my reaction to each of these coins and just join me on this epic journey to find these beautiful coins that are still out there to this very day. It's been a lot of fun going through these coins with you guys. I can't stress that enough. And the support has been overwhelming. I just want to say thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for your support. I really, really do appreciate that. So if you guys like this video, I appreciate it. Leave a like if you want and subscribe if you want as well for more coin roll hunting and card box unboxing content, but mostly coin roll hunting. Let's be real. I hardly do any card box unboxing videos. I've only done one so far, but basically coin roll hunting every Wednesday and Sunday. I always post my videos in the morning, and if you have your notifications on, you'll know exactly when I post my video. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pick one favorite coin from this quarter alone. It's gonna be a tough decision here, but I'm gonna decide which coin here is my favorite from this quarter? And I want to say the Mercury Dimes. I really do. But oh, it's tough. If I had to pick a favorite from this quarter, it's going to have to be this right here. And it's not even from America. But it's going to be a King George V Canadian Penny from the year 1933. My favorite coin that I have ever found, period. Pick your favorite coin in this lot here down below. And if you have any cool coins to share, let me know in the comments as well. I would love to hear what you have in your collection. And now, with that being said, let's go ahead and conclude the video now. So thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Dax Collects, and I'll catch you guys on the flip. Good luck hunting everyone, and have a good one. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you want to check out my other video, click on the bottom left of the screen.